Hello guys, it's Sinkas, and today we're back in CryptoVoxels for yet another building tutorial. This time, I'm going to cover some more advanced stuff, such as how to build more efficiently, how to make your buildings look nicer and stand out from all the square boxes that you find in the world, and I'll also show you the basics of how you can use Magic of Voxel in order to create Vox that you can add to your buildings to get them to the next level. Well, lots of cool stuff ahead, so let's get to it. So the first thing I want to go through is a trick Conlon showed me that will help us with the efficiency of our building. Right now, if I want to build uh, a wall that features multiple blocks, multiple different blocks, um, I have to open the menu, then put a line down, for example, and then I want to add glass, say here, and then I want to add a different block, um, say this one. And, you know, you can quickly come to understand that having to open the menu and close it uh, constantly can be a bit tiring. A way to work around that is you can uh, come to your URL bar right here and then you add a little piece of um, uh, to the uh, to the link and the piece that you add is and UI equals HTML let it load alright so what that does is it enables us to use the HTML editor and maybe you already noticed that we have our blocks right here in the bottom middle of the screen. This way if I wanna change between blocks I can just use the the wheel of my mouse. So I'm in block 1 then I go to block 2, block 3, block 4, block 5, etc etc and I can just quickly navigate through the blocks. That also um, brings up some more options when we're editing items. Uh, for example if I have polytext and I try to edit it having my HTML editor open so the UI equals HTML right here when I click on edit um, I get some more options some more uh, rotation some more scales so I can just play with the height, height and not the general scale uh, I can move the position I can rotate it uh, in different angles so you know more things that you would otherwise be able to do with uh, the simple editor. Um, so there's that, that's the, the quick trick that will help us build faster. Uh, moving on, I want to go through through the walls and how to make your parcels stand out just a little bit more than the usual uh, buildings we've seen so far. So most of the walls I've seen in CryptoVoxels typically look like this just a, uh, a flat one block only white wall um, it looks really boring and if you consider that most of the buildings are just uh, big rectangles of this kind of wall it just looks uh, straight up unattractive what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some quick little tricks that you can use that you can employ if you will in order to make your building just a little bit more visually appealing I'm not gonna get into something uh, awfully specific so you might be wondering that or might be uh, thinking that what I said will be too vague but uh, with building the final outcome really depends on the builder and his uh, abilities so I'm gonna just show you what I used to do when I uh, when I used to build for Minecraft servers the the general concepts that I try to follow and then you it's up to you to, to put them in, in in practice so the first thing is use multiple and different kinds of blocks in your buildings if you try to make the whole build out of the same block it will just look not good so for example in this uh, particular wall we can come up here place the, the stone bricks block and make something like that it's not ideal but you get the I just want to show you the concept uh, of course let's make a doorway here mm, alright and you know what let's make it let's make an outline right here Oops. alright so instead of having just a flat wall I have a wall with an outline. It already looks much better than what what it looked like before. 
uh, obviously now you can also add color because we are in a so much black and white world uh, especially the white so you have to break it up with color and now that color is free there is no uh, simply no excuses as not uh, as why not to use it so definitely add color I'm just gonna skip it on on this tutorial simply to cut on, on some time uh, color taste is completely up to you so depending on your palette and on your taste so just play around with the colors and definitely add them to your builds another thing that you can do in order to help your building stand out and your wall specifically is to add depth to them so if the wall is just completely flat like this it might do its work uh, but you can make it so much better if you just add a layer or two of depth and by what I mean by that is you can simply come around here and add an outline to your build simple as that what I'm doing is I'm just bringing the the, the outline just a layer to the outside so we have something like this and you can also maybe add columns to separate it and we have something like this and here and voila it already looks way cooler than it used to look just uh, uh, some moments ago so that's the general uh, tips that you can do also when it comes to doorways avoid having just uh, a rectangle as your doorway the very least you can do is you can just make it like look like an arc um, it, will, it will definitely look a little bit blocky since we're doing it on such a small scale and the blocks look so big but it's the very least you can do in order to make it look uh, make it look better alright so the first thing we need in order to start creating voxels is magic voxel obviously I have a download link in the description so you can download it as well it's very easy to install uh, it doesn't take too much space uh, and it's rather easy to use you'll get the gist of it quite easily now I'm not gonna cover how to actually um, you know how to use magic box so I'm not gonna go through the every uh, brushes and tools available I'm just gonna quickly go through the very basics that you need to know in order to create a, a vox model and use in your buildings so the very first thing you need to know is that my uh, crypto voxel supports uh, voxes up to 32 by 32 by 32 size so I'm gonna change that from the 40 so I'm gonna do 32 by 32 by 32 and now um, this is a block uh, this is completely filled in so if for example I save it and I upload that what I'm gonna get is a vox model of this block in this particular color what I wanna do is I wanna create uh, a circular column in order to use it in uh, in the building that we created just a second ago what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete those that the whole thing and then I'm gonna select let's say white I think it will look uh, well uh, or any other color from the palette and I'm gonna use the circle brush I'm gonna attach it I'm not gonna erase anything I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna create a circle let's make it like that alright so now I have to bring the circle up just a little bit I'm just adding more layers I'm sure there is <laughs> a faster way to do that but uh, I myself am not quite uh, used to using the program just yet so I'm gonna let me copy and paste it so <clears throat> and paste again and move it 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 alright so we have something that looks like this so it's just a circular block uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna save it this arrow right here we're gonna save it and we're save, saving it as column so now that we have saved it we're gonna go ahead and upload it uh, in, in our Dropbox or any other hosting site so I have uploaded my Vox model in Dropbox I have copied uh, a shareable link and now I can come back here in the building we have created and I'm gonna delete this column I'm gonna select Vox model place it on the ground 
and just link the model that we created. The model appears and it looks like this. So, obviously it's too small because uh, as we uh, said earlier, we created a 32 by 32 by 32 box model, whereas the blocks in the world are 52, uh, are 50, sorry, 50 by 50 by 50. So what we're gonna do in order to uh, fill in and make it look like a, a regular size column is that we're gonna select edit place on the block and then right here on the HTML editor and that can only be done the like uh, scaling um, no sorry scaling can also be done um, on the ner uh, the regular editor so we're gonna scale the Y axis so that's the height as we said in the previous video and we're gonna scale it all the way up to the way we want to reach and there is that so now we have a circular column while all the other blocks are uh, cubes so they are rectangles um, or squares if you will so there's that I can replace all the columns with that model and it looks like this so um, I use the same model the same link for all the Vox models that I placed so you don't have to generate a different one for each column and I think it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that there are probably infinite uh, possibilities uh, with the ability to create your own Vox models you can create uh, columns you can create half blocks you can create basically anything you can imagine uh, and to some extent you can add uh, almost infinite um, detail to your buildings it's just a matter of how much work you're willing to put in now the only thing that's uh, that does I don't like with Vox Vox models is that let me bring one outside and you'll see sorry um, I'll select this one and we're gonna move it right here the only thing I don't like is that the Vox models are not solid blocks so if I if this one was uh, a bigger uh, scale uh, actually let me make it mm. so this would appear as a normal column but in reality I can walk through it so the Vox models are not solid one uh, way to work around that is you can come underneath and create uh, regular blocks and then move the Vox model on top of the regular block maybe you have to edit the position as well uh, on the Z axis I think it is yep so in order to hide oh, I didn't get it <laughs> Uh, where is it? Okay. So yeah, you edit the position and you hide the, uh, a normal block within that, within the uh, the, the whole box model. And when you try to move through it, you get stuck. Now there might be a place where you can uh, uh, just walk through the box and see what's inside, but you you just have to to make do with it. Um, otherwise it looks pretty neat and uh, you won't be able to go through the Vox model if you place your the cubes inside uh, in the right direction so that's just a quick workaround around um, this trouble so that's all for this video I think uh, I've shown you some uh, very helpful tips especially if you don't have uh, a lot of experience in building or you simply haven't tried it now you have a, a place to start um, Consider giving um, some time to learning Crypto uh, sorry, Magic Voxel because you can create some really amazing stuff with it. I th I hope you are seeing what a lot of money does in the space. Uh, I'm gonna leave his Twitter in the description. Uh, you should definitely check him out if you're interested uh, in buildings. And I think he he does um, he does commission work. So if you wanna have um, a building for yourself created by him, you can definitely reach out to him and well, figure out a deal with him uh, I'm also trying to get into the, that business so if you have any work and you just feel that you don't have the time or you, that you won't be able to create what you want to create feel free to reach out into my Twitter or send 
and I'm sure we'll, we will be able to work something out. So anyway, that's all for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a thing or two. And consider subscribing to the channel if you like my videos. Uh, consider liking them and most importantly consider sharing them over on Twitter or on Sand or anywhere else. That's it's been Sinkas. Till the next time.